Hi, you're here because something is not quite right in your life. Why else would you be looking at a post that promises second chances? You want a second chance at life. And the holidays tend to bring those kind of thoughts up. Holidays, which are supposed to be a time of joy and light and fun and community, are often very highly charged with emotions. They cause us to reflect and to see, take stock of where we are. Maybe you see family and, and one of your aunts makes a comment and you, and you think, oh, maybe I haven't gotten as far as I wanted. Or you compare yourself with your siblings. Or maybe you've had a loss and so you're really feeling the uh, drain, the depression or sadness that comes around having had a significant loss and facing a holiday without that person. So holidays, even though at, at some level they are rush, rush, rush and keeping you busy all the time, they are also very emotionally charged and we find ourselves ruminating about our lives, especially as we head towards the end of the year and you, oh my gosh, it's another year. We're going into 2020, a whole new decade. So this is actually the perfect time for a second chance. This is a perfect time to decide what it is that you really want in your life. How often do you get that chance? How often do you get uh, the opportunity to reconstruct yourself? Well, the first time was probably when you went off to college, right? You left home and you were able to even change your name. Did you change your name? Did you stop using that pet name, that nickname that your parents used all the time? And, and were able to identify yourself in a different way as like a really dynamic student or intelligent or beautiful or whatever. And the next time is when your children leave home. And suddenly you have a lot of space. You have a lot of time that you didn't have before. And you wonder, well, what do I do now? If you've been a stay-at-home mom or dad, it's like, well, what, do I, what am I going to do now? I put my whole life into my children. And now Christmas time comes and maybe they're coming home and, and you're feeling like, <clears throat> well, what have I done since they left? Or maybe they're not coming home and you're saying, hi, thanks for joining. Thank you for joining and welcome to exploring the holidays and what you want in your life. So we're talking about what, what provokes you to think about yourself. Maybe um, you have uh, retired. That's another opportunity to take stock and say, what am I going to do with my life? Or maybe you've lost a spouse <clears throat> or a partner. And that is a huge opportunity to say, oh, now what? Now what do I want to do with my life? Death often brings that up. That's what happened to me when both my parents died. I asked myself, well, where am I going now? What, what do I want to do with this one and only precious life of mine? And of course, end of the year. As I said before, end of the year is a really good opportunity to say, okay, so now what? What have I accomplished this year? How far have I gotten on my vision? How far have I gotten in where I want to be? Or have I even thought about where I want to be? In addition to the end of the year, there's also a lot of planetary pressure. I don't know if you believe in astrology, but I have found it to be so uncanny and so amazing that I pay attention. In fact, I pay attention to anything that moves me forward. So there are two big planets that are coming into close proximity. One is Saturn. Saturn is all about limitations, all about structure. And what it's coming in contact with is Pluto, which is all about revolution. It's all about change. It's all about death and transformation. 
And when those two planets get together, fireworks, big things are going to happen because we are on the brink of a huge change. You can feel the pressure. You can feel the tension. And it's provoking you to take stock of your life. This is the time to take stock so that when those two planets collide, connect, you'll have a plan. You'll be able to implement the plan, the new plan that you want for your life, the second chance. So take stock. Where are you? You're on this call for a reason. Something's not quite right. Something's missing. Something is not working. Maybe you've lost a sense of what your direction is. Maybe you have lost a partner and you're feeling that loss and you don't know where to go next. Maybe you've lost touch with your own true brilliance. Maybe you would like more financial security. Maybe you would, you're ready for more love in your life. Or maybe you are, you'd like to have a different body. Maybe your health isn't the best. What I would like you to do now is to feel into what it would be if you had your ideal result. What would life be like? How would you feel? What would it look like? And just take a moment to imagine that. What would you be able to do? How would you be? How would people respond to you? And feel into it. Just for a moment. You fulfilling who you authentically and truly are. No excuses. No victimhood. You are the creator of your own life. You got a vision? Great. So the next question is, how does it make you feel? Do you feel excited? Do you feel like, yes, I want to move forward. This is what I want. What am I waiting for? Great. Next question for you is, what's stopping you? Is it time? You have been so busy that you never have time to move forward. Oftentimes, we stay busy because we are afraid of the feelings underneath. Busyness is the most amazing drug of this modern civilization because everybody loves it. Everybody supports you. If you're busy, that's fantastic. Well, except maybe your spouse might not like it that you're so busy all the time and your children may not like it a whole lot. But other than that, your bosses love it. Everybody loves it. You're busy and you're respected, but it prevents you from taking stock. It prevents you from really is doing the self-examination. And worst of all, it prevents you from being creative because you actually need to have downtime to be creative and to really think of new approaches and new ways to live your life. Maybe it's commitment to other people that's holding you back. You have children that are still young and at home, or you're committed to supporting your spouse, or if you just don't seem to have any time in the day, you have so many things to do. Commitment to others is about people pleasing. Maybe you have committed yourself to things that are not really in alignment with your needs, with your purpose, your soul's purpose. And if you're doing that, that can come from what I found as a PhD psychosocial analyst, which means I take into consideration both the psychology and the sociology of your circumstance. If you are concerned about pleasing others because you're afraid that you're gonna lose their love, that's one of the things that holds us back from stepping into our power. We don't wanna lose that love. And then the last reason that comes up is fear. And fear is, oh, if I move forward, what will happen? Well, 
you might have less time Two, people might resist you and have and and uh, try and undermine you uh, and three you may lack self-confidence you may worry that you don't have the staying power if you have a vision I can help you let's have a talk in the comment section is a link to my scheduler and I on our short 15 minute talk will sh share three tips to second chances to a life makeover that will help to move you forward okay so maybe you didn't feel excited you felt depressed this is another response that I find to this question of if you imagine a big life and then you feel depressed, it may be because of early childhood emotional wounds that somebody in your life, parents or teachers told you you were not good enough, you had no value, you were not worthy, you were not perfect and left you feeling like you couldn't do it, that you had to just accept and depression really is unexpressed anger and you have good reason to feel angry at those people who told you that you were not good enough because every one of us is good enough every one of us comes with the soul's dna for manifesting our full potential we can talk schedule a call with me and i will share with you three makeover tips that will move you forward into the next year to break through your limits so that you can have joy in your life and not feel depressed to let that be a thing of the past now if your response is I can't imagine anything all I want is to have things stay the same way they are now. I just want things to be small and I just want a little bit of peace. I don't want to be afraid anymore. That's all I want. I don't want to be afraid anymore. You're not ready to talk to me. In order to talk to me, you need to have a vision. You need to know where you want. And if you think that staying small is the solution. Oh, if I don't want too much, then I won't get in trouble. It's not gonna work. The universe responds to the bold. The universe supports those that take action and step into their power. If you're not producing fruit, if you're just standing there, the farmer will cut you down because you're just occupying space. We all have this spark of life, this gift, this brilliance, which is our very own. And when you don't share it, you are being selfish. You are not fulfilling your soul's DNA. You are not fulfilling your purpose. You know, we have over 300 billion cells in our body and every one of them comes programmed to self-destruct when they are no longer of use. We are, human beings are beings of meaning. We need to have meaning in our lives. What is your meaning? If it's only to stay small, it may not be enough. So what are you waiting for? I, maybe you're waiting for a, a, a voice from the universe, from God. Well, you've just got it. You have permission. Reach out, have a conversation with me. Get your three tips to a life makeover and step into your full power and purpose. Let this holiday season be a time to gift yourself 
And when you gift yourself with your own power, you gift the world. Gift yourself a second chance. That's it for today. Sign up and have a conversation with me if that resonates with you. And in the meantime, be brilliant and bye for now.